A few weeks ago, the Wi-Fi Alliance has introduced the Wi-Fi Certify 7. It essentially means that we see the initial stages of what's going to be a larger scale adoption of this new standard. And I'm sure that some of you are already aware that there are some manufacturers which have made available a few Wi-Fi 7 routers for almost half a year. And to be able to use the 6 GHz radio band, which is pretty much the highlighted feature of this standard, the user needs to get Wi-Fi 7 adapters. And somewhere in September of 2023, Intel has unveiled the BE200 Wi-Fi 7 controller, and so did Qualcomm with its QNC NCM865. And this is where things get very weird, because as far as I could find, the Qualcomm adapter was available on the market for a very short period of time, after which it completely vanished. Even today, all of the stores that I check don't have it in stock. But hey, we do have the Intel BE200 available, so what exactly is the problem? It's not compatible with AMD systems. Checking out the official Intel webpage, there is no mention that it may be incompatible with AMD, but the users soon found out that this is indeed the case. I tested it myself using a Ryzen 5 5600 XT, and while there wasn't any apparent issue, the adapter simply wasn't detected. And now come the speculations. Initially, the users thought that it's because the Intel BE200 may be a CNVI card, which means that it's locked to a select portion of Intel chipsets. This is a very valid assumption, considering that the Intel AX211 used the CNVIO2 protocol blocking older gen Intel CPUs as well as AMD processors. But that's not really the case with the BE200 because it's an M2 module having nothing to do with CNVI. So this means that it's actually a softer thing. Most likely yes. But there is another info that's perpetuated on the web and is that the Intel BE200 can only work with the 12th gen Intel CPUs and above. But is that true? Honestly, I got the Intel BE200 a bit blindly because even though I knew it will not work with my main PC, which is built on the AMD platform, I did have a very old PC that still has installed an Intel i5 2500K processor. So I just kept my fingers crossed that it may work. New computers are not cheap. I replaced the TP-Link Wi-Fi 6E adapter with a BE200 Wi-Fi adapter and I started up the Linux Mint. Why didn't I use Windows? It's because Microsoft thinks it can hurt people towards its Windows 11 OS by blocking support for Wi-Fi 7 for the Windows 10 and below users. I really could not find any other reason for it. Returning to the Linux Mint, I realized that the Wi-Fi adapter did not immediately work, so I could only use a wired connection. But the good news is that the Intel BE200 was detected by the OS, so this means that it could potentially work. I updated the operating system to its latest version, as well as the kernel, and after several updates and upgrades, as well as a reboot, I finally saw it. The adapter detected the Wi-Fi networks. And it was beautiful. But did it actually see the 6 GHz network? I did get my hands on the 4x4 Ingenious ACW536 Wi-Fi 7 access point very recently, and yes, a review is on the way. And after setting up the SSIDs and the radios, the Intel BE200 sold all three Wi-Fi networks. So the Intel BE200 will work with second gen Sandy Bridge Intel CPUs, which means that it's possible to use older processors as well. But the issue with AMD systems still remains and from what I could gather, it is simply software related. The issue is that it's been almost half a year since Intel has not released an update to make the BE200 compatible with AMD. Will they actually do it soon? I think that they will ride this wave for as long as possible, or at least up until the Qualcomm adapter becomes available again. That's it for today, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.